Let me bring you songs from the wood To make you feel much better than you could know Better than you could know Dust you down from tip to toe Hi guys, this is Linda. Um, really, what has Obama done for this country? Um, uh, we've been sitting here discussing this. He seems to have no knowledge of the IRS or what they do, or Benghazi, or the wiretapping of the press. He actually, only photo ops I really see him with, he says the same things to the same diplomats, um, and vacations a lot, plays golf. So, why don't we just fire him? I didn't elect him. You didn't elect him. Elections are rigged. What's going to happen in, in the next election? Do you want to do this? It keeps getting worse and worse. Why don't the states just become smaller communities and not be a United States? Why don't we just have a president of a state? Some will be, you know, one way or another, but at least we could break it up into small things, have our own currency, barter, exchange. Have our own currency. Did you get that? Kick Monsanto's ass out of here. If you choose not to have a vaccination, you don't have to. If we stood up and stood in our power, we could do some of these things. Because as far as I can tell, at this point, the only thing we're doing is we're arming rebels for Israel to start more wars, to get to Persia. That, that's our goal. And what is in Persia? What do we want in Persia? Everybody says oil, but there's oil in America. There's oil in Alaska. There's actually oil everywhere. There's a lot of knowledge in Persia. There's a lot of antiquities in Persia. Every place we go, we destroy the history. They just tore down a Mayan, a Mayan um, pyramid in Belize. So I'm just saying, do we even need presidents anymore? Obviously, we just pay for their vacations and Congress's vacations and the Senate's vacations and for them to party and do whatever the hell they want and for their airplanes and for us to kill other human beings. We don't really get nothing done in this system of government. We're not a republic. We're not a democracy. I, I don't even know what you could call it. It's, it's, it's beyond fascism. It, it is totally, you're in an enslaved system and just step out of the enslaved system. Start waking people up. This system has failed. Look, it's all over the news. I mean, this guy's creepier than Nixon, Bush, uh, Clinton. Well, I don't know. Him and Hillary, I don't know. They may have came out of the same clone thing device at this point. Because I'm really starting to wonder, we wouldn't have tolerated this 20 years ago. I'm back in my aunt's generation. This shit, people would have marched on Washington and... And, and I say with bricks because they would have torn down that White House and they would have built another one and they would have been sitting in it. That's how the older generation would have done things. What has happened? We need to stop this patriarchal system of oligarchs. We need to stand in our power. I mean, I don't like the patriarch system. If you look it up, you'll see how they they feel about women and 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 they believe that you you know you, you should be under their control I, I actually follow more of a matrial linear <clears throat> belief system myself but either way you know you gotta devise some kind of system where everybody you know has a say so and in this system none of us have a say so except we're buying Obama, anything. I mean, his wife buys dresses that cost ten thousand dollars. I saw that last year, and it's like, what? Ten thousand dollars could have fed a lot of hungry people. Really, it could have. It could have stopped a lot of people from losing their homes. I mean, look at the things that have happened. People have been kicked out of homes they bought. I mean, really good people. Farmers. Look what Monsanto's doing to farmers. This guy's a creep. It's time we just all stood up, stood in our power, and said enough's enough. Mr. Obama, your history. We don't want you. Go back to Kenya if that's where you're from. If you're from Hawaii, go to Hawaii. Let the Hawaiians deal with you. I think there's a volcano over there. Who knows? Anyway, I'm just having to rant right now. But peace and love. Always. Linda.